Hi, I'm Robert O'Brien from O'Brien Guitars, and off to my right here is the shop dog Duke, getting a well-deserved nap. And in my hands is a very old Martin. I just got done restoring this Martin, and from what I can can figure out on this instrument, it's it's pre-Civil War, and I think it's probably 1850s to uh, late 1850s, perhaps 1860-ish. And this guitar came in on life support like most of these guitars that come into me. And there was a big hole right here. Bunch of pieces missing. And I had to fix it. <laughs> Amazingly enough though, the frets, original bar frets, were in fantastic shape. I didn't have to replace them or do anything. Just had to glue a couple of them down. On the peg head up here, there's been some old repairs. Some old slot head screws have been put in there because that's been cracked off. The... Uh, Tuner knobs, there's one of them that's broken. It's probably ivory, but I don't know. They were also using bone back then. I replaced it, uh, put a bone nut in it. It probably would have been uh, ebony. This is a lower end, so it didn't have any ebony appointments on it. Had to, or it's any ivory appointments on it. So it, it had the ebony bridge originally. Now what came off of this sucker was this. Somebody had replaced the bridge and put a big piece of mahogany on there and inside it put this as a bridge patch and it had been repaired a few times so when i removed the bridge there was nothing underneath it it was that bridge patch underneath there it was holding everything together in front of the bridge it was only about 0.5 millimeters thick on that top so apparently somebody's come in and done a bunch of sanding or something along the way and the bridge that was on there was oversized so it left a mark when i put the the original one back on there but other than, than this, it, it was in pretty good shape. The back and sides uh, had one little crack right there. Uh, pretty decent Brazilian rosewood. There was a crack in the heel here. Um, Tailpiece on the back side here, and that was fairly common for, for these guitars. When metal strings came out, they put jazz tail pieces on them to keep them from caving in. Well, that didn't happen. This thing had completely caved in, and it was missing a chunk of binding and purfling here and a piece of Brazilian rosewood uh, binding. So... Who knows where that tailpiece was? It didn't come in with it. But the per people that brought me this instrument are from Colorado, down in Colorado Springs. And this guitar has been in their family since day one. Their great-great-grandfather or whoever bought this and apparently didn't see a lot of playing because the frets were in pretty decent shape. They brought it in to me about a year ago. And I said, look, unfortunately, and like most cases, it costs more money to repair these things than what they're worth. And so I told them that, and, and they decided to go ahead and take it on home. Well, then I did a little research on it. Inside here is not an X-Brace. It's kind of a hybrid. This is one of the Martin Spanish models. So it had three fan braces, all of them tucked into the kerfing down here. And then it had one tone bar and then two finger braces out here. So it was kind of a hybrid. Uh, I know that he made, uh, Martin made the just a, an all Spanish model was just three fan braces. But this one, for some reason, had a tone bar going across there and finger braces out to the side here. And somebody, when this had all caved in and stuff, well, a couple of the tone bars, or the tone bar was, was still there, but the main fan strut was gone because whoever put in that big bridge plate had you know, ripped most of that out. There was a little bit up in here. But uh, I was able to put it back together. It's not much to look at, but... What a joy to work on an instrument like this. This is a piece of Americana. And when I told the people that, I said, look, you might want to try restoring that. Not only has it got some sentimental value in the family, but you may have a piece of history here. This is a, a nice piece of Americana history. And it's a little different norm from the typical x brace that Martin did. So there you have it. I worked on this sucker for almost a year to get it back together. But there it is. What I put on it for strings is the synthetic gut on the first uh, three strings, and then silk wound with steel on the last three strings. And that puts a lot less tension on it. And it held together. So fantastic. That actually doesn't sound too bad either. So, there you have it. Thank you.
Thank you.